I'm Cassie and this is Surprise Let's Play and as you can see I have a bunch of boxes with me and they are actually the BFF Crybabies line and if you haven't watched the link of me opening Jenna yet here's the link above. I got so excited over that doll that I just went on Amazon and I purchased all the rest of them and all the rest is in the line and so these dolls cost me $13 and something cents each on Amazon right now and I think that that's still the price that they're going for so definitely um click my link down below to get these dolls so we're gonna open them all together they don't come with a lot of stuff but we're gonna open them together and yeah so let's get started with our first doll which is, I think this one's Katie. Yes, Katie. And this is kind of fun. You know, you can twist and turn these things to play with them, put their body in different forms. My ring lights are ruining the like likeness of this. But see, there you go. <laughs> Stupid ring lights. I wish there was a way that you can record videos without the ring lights like interrupting you, but I'm not a professional videographer. <laughs> That's why I do my own YouTube channel. Um, you think that I would be, but I'm not. So anyway, we're going to just open Katie and not talk about that stuff. We'll just pretend I'm a professional videographer. How about that? So let's just open Katie. And she is so cute. The reason why I was excited for Katie is because of her hat. She kind of reminds me of Wednesday. But here's Katie with her little hat on. And their cat ears. Isn't that so cute? So these dolls are articulated not in the ankle. But we don't have many dolls that are articulated in the ankles anyways. Here's her um, joint in her knee. And she has a fully rotating um, leg from her hips. I'm not fully rotating, but it rotates pretty well. See, it rotates out. So. And then she has a shoulder joint that goes all the way around. And she has an elbow joint that does pretty much what it should do. Except for this one's not moving. They have an awkward elbow joint. It only moves one way. And then she has a wrist joint. And the hands do come off so that you can better dress them. So here's Katie. We um, are gonna talk about the packaging. This turns into a bedroom. And I think this is awesome. Not turns into a bedroom, it is a bedroom. And this bedroom is awesome. Like look how cute all of her stuff is. She has like a little cat backpack. She has one of those hanging chairs. See, these are so cute. And the fun thing about having these play sets in the box is that you can put the doll back in the tube, back in the play set, and put it on a bookshelf. So for the collectors, if you want to collect these dolls, they don't sit well, like sitting down. I think I'll, I'll try to show you. They just fall backwards. See, I'm trying to put her, they sit if you spread their legs open. But that's the only way they sit. Like, they won't sit if you put their legs together. They'll just go backwards. So you have to kind of spread their legs open. Ugh. And even then, they don't sit good. But, you know, you can try to get them to sit good. They stand really well by themselves. But a lot of, I think, just kind of like the rainbow highs, you have to balance them. See, she can stand on her own. Ta-da! But um, yeah, so this is Katie and let's talk about her. I think she has these two little ties in the front or what's on her. This is okay, there we go. It looked like it wasn't supposed to go with the dress, but okay, so here's Katie's dress. Her sleeves are sheer at the elbows to the wrists. Look how cute that face is. <laughs> like, how can you not say no to this doll? See, you can't. And then her dress is a couple parts, two parts. There's an underneath and then a sheer um, overlay. 
And then she has this really cute lacy like front piece with these little tassels. So don't cut these tassels. And then she has a surprise or they have surprises in the box that they come with. So I guess we're gonna open that up. They come with socks. They come with shoes. And they come with a bag. So like I said, we'll be able to go through these dolls. Oh yes, and a necklace. And it looks like the same necklace as Jenna had. So we'll go over those. What the rest of this is, this is really cool. This is an extra panel that they used so that you didn't have to rip the, the, the bedroom. You could just take this off so you had the bedroom still to play with. And my daughter plays with these, and so I think they're brilliant. I love play sets that are with the box. I know that's kind of cheap, but I mean... Everything is expensive these days. So it's nice when you have a play set for $13, including the doll. So, and then you can put it away. There's no toy box mess. There's no out of toy box mess. You put the doll back in the tube. You stick this on a bookshelf. And there you go. <laughs> I think these dolls are so cool. Like, I think they are a brilliantly made doll. And then they also come with this. And it just shows all the dolls. It's a checklist of the dolls oh, with your doll that you got. So here's the checklist on the back. And then this is your little poster of the doll that you got. So I'll go over her shoes. My cat is scratching on my little stool that I'm sitting on. So these look like kitty cat cowboy boots. So see the kitty cat and then their cowboy boots. I'm square dancing. Anyway, and then they just have some cute little pink on them, but I don't know. I hope you can see the little cats on the on the front of them. And then her necklace is just this plain beaded necklace with a little bead at the bottom or in the middle, I mean. And this is the same that Jenna had, so I wonder if they all have the same. And look how cute these socks are. They have lace at the top. And then her purse is, of course, a cat. And it comes undone at the top so that you could use it as a messenger bag or as a purse. So, like, you can take it and put it around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, let's get her dressed first. So, here is Katie. She's pretty heavy now that she has her hat on and her boots on. She looks so cute. I'm gonna get the Kaiser stands so I don't have to stick them back in their tubes and put them on a bookshelf. Um, I'm gonna get Kaiser stands for them so that I can display them. But look how cute she is. And then for the messenger bag I was talking about, you can put it where as a purse like this, or like I said, it, it, it comes undone so that you could put it through and attach it like this so it's a messenger bag over her chest. See, that's like really cute or you can have it as a purse. So let's go to the next doll. So this one is Stella, and I just bought my daughter Stella, not for Christmas, just because, because these dolls are so cute and they're so easy to like take care of. Like I said, you can put all their stuff in their tubes. Like that leaves a slut, like no messes. And I love no messes, I love it nice and clean. So let's open up Stella and see what she looks like. Okay, so I opened up Stella, but she's laying down right now. I'm just gonna show you her bedroom. See, her bedroom's really cute. It has a little couch, a closet, a mirror. And just look at Stella, you guys. Look at her hair. Look at her outfit. She's got the little mermaid tights. And then the heart oversized ho hoodie. It is a hoodie because there's a hood in the back. So that's cute. It is a hoodie. 
Just look at this face, you guys. <laughs> Literally, they're so cute. Like, I haven't... Like, I love Rainbow High because Rainbow High is a fashion doll. They are fashion dolls through and through. But these are dolls that are like, you can play with them and put them away. I know, I keep repeating myself. But they're just so cute. So let's just get her dressed and see what she comes with. And we'll talk more about that. Okay, so Stella did not come with socks. But she did come with these really cute mermaid boots. Like, they're so, so cute. They have little shells, like where the converse is supposed to be, the little converse symbol. She didn't come with socks, though, like I said. So, she's going to have some stanky fate. And then, I was right. They come with the same necklace. That's nice, because if you lose one and you have, like, more than one of these dolls. And then her purse is just a little seashell. That doesn't really help. I was like hoping my black sleeves would help, but. And then she also comes with a cute little hat that has a unicorn horn on it. <laughs> oh, there's three unicorn horns on it. <laughs> so I have little eyelashes. Like see, there's the eyelashes right here and right here. I need to get a camera instead of just recording on my phone. I need to get like an actual camera, but I need to have more subscribers to be able to afford something like that. So if you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit subscribe. It'll help me get a new camera and hit like in this video because that also helps YouTube refer me to people. Um, hit the notification bell so you get my videos so you can support me by watching them. Um, and yeah, just keep watching. <laughs> so let's get her dressed okay Stella looks so cute in her full-on outfit just look at those glittering eyes it's probably the ring lights but still just look at how cute she is you guys I love her she's to die for just, oh. and their hair feels so nice there's no scrunchy crunchy product in there you don't have any wrinkly hair. You don't have any tabs pulling out the clothes. I mean, these dolls are awesome. I love them. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, and I think this one is Phoebe. Yep, this one is Phoebe. Um, I asked my daughter how to say her name and she said Phoebe. And it was so cute, like it was so cute. It was her first time learning the name Phoebe. So this is Phoebe and Phoebe's a little rhinoceros. So I'm excited to see what she has to offer. So let's get her unboxed. So Phoebe's laying down. I just wanted to show you her room first. She's got a cool looking chair and a fun little closet. Look at her little vanity. Cute. And then here's her mirror. Okay, guys. Phoebe is really cute. So it looks like she has a jacket on. And we're going to take the jacket off real quick to see what she looks like without it. Oh, so cute. So her outfit's really fun. It's a jumper. Here's Phoebe, and she also came with her little her little headband for her, uh, why did I forget the name of it? I want to call it a rhinoceros, but it's not Triceratops. I hope I didn't say rhinoceros earlier. Oh. But anyway, so I don't want to ruin her hair. Phoebe's, or Jenna's ruined her hair. Ah, I guess we're going to just have to stuff that on there. Oh, look at that face. Look at her braids. These are really cute braids. I love how they're braided into her pigtail braids. She's so cute. And then she's got the tendrils sticking out. This is a good hair idea. I'm going to show this to my friend. For my, my friend's daughter usually has her hair in braids or sometimes afro. And I think this is really cute. So I'm going to show her this doll. But let's see what Phoebe came with. 
Okay, so Phoebe came with socks, shoes that are little dinosaur scales. Look at her little boots that are dinosaur scaled. I think that's so cute. And then her socks. <laughs> so let's get her dressed. Okay, and I forgot to show you her little messenger bag, and hers is actually a messenger bag. So this will go over her like this. And there you go. But I'm not gonna put her bag on or her cute jacket. Look how cute her jacket is real quick. I'm not gonna put her jacket on. This would be maybe cool to put on a rainbow high. Maybe rainbow high might fit. It, it might look a little small. So maybe, maybe the junior high could wear something like that. But here she is in her outfit and her little jumper and she looks so cute. I love the little rhinoceros headband. Rhinoceros, see? I'm saying rhinoceros, triceratops. <laughs> But okay, so there's Phoebe. Let's move on to the next doll. Okay, this is another one that I also got for my daughter just because I told her she could have two. She wanted three, but I told her no, because it's almost Christmas, she can have two. So this one is Crystal and she's blue and is a little polar bear. So let's see what she looks like. Okay, so I want to show you her room real quick. Just look how cute that one is. She's got a little chair, a cork board, a really cute closet, and a mirror. And look at Crystal. My daughter's going to love her. She comes with this really cute jacket, which let's take it off to see what she looks like underneath. I'm probably going to put her jacket back. Oh, maybe not. Look at that outfit. She almost looks like Elsa. Like her outfit almost looks like an Elsa outfit. How cute is that? It's sheer, just like Katie's. And then her hair is long with no product in it. It feels so good. It's shedding a little bit though. That's okay. That's normal. And there's no annoying tabs to take out of the clothes. So let's see what Crystal came with. Is that her name? Yeah. Okay, her socks are so cute. Look at them. They have the cute little uh, ribbon at the top. It's a, it's a gathered ribbon. And then her shoes are super cute, or her boots. They're little winter boots. Just basic winter boots. No laces. And then her little headband that I showed you. And of course that necklace that they come with. So let's get her dressed and see what she looks like. So I don't know why I forgot to show you guys, but she has this really cute polar bear purse. <laughs> like, look at it, it's so cute. So let's put her little headband on too, real quick. And she looks so cute. And here's her jacket. I'm not gonna put it back on her right now just for the sake of saving time, but it's a really cute jacket. It reminds me kind of a little bit of Jenna's. And like I said, if you haven't seen that one, here's the link above. And let's move on to the last doll we have. And this one is Dottie. Dottie's really cute. She is a Dalmatian. And let's just unbox her and see what she looks like. 
Okay, so I wanted to show you Dottie's bedroom. Look how cute it is. It is just pink, pink, pink with little Dalmatian stuff everywhere. And here is Dottie. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at those red eyes. The, well, they're like a hazel, like crimson brown type of color here. Let's see if you guys can decide what color that is. But she is so cute. And she's got her hair in pigtails and she comes with a hat too. So, well, she's got a jacket on. Let's see what she looks like without her jacket. So here's her jacket on. That's fun, that's like a two-tone sleeve. So let's undo her little buckle and see. Oh, look at her outfit. So I'm gonna leave her jacket off. Look at those cute little pink sleeves. She's so cute. Okay, let's open her surprise box real quick. Okay, so her socks are adorable. Look at them. I forgot the name. I mean, there's a name for this design, but I can't think of it. I know it's like a plaid, but it's not plaid. It's another name. But it is so cute. Like, they are so cute, her socks. And then she comes with a little hat that has Dalmatian ears. <laughs> and it'll look cute in just a second. It, it looks a little silly like this, but it's really cute on. I'm sure from the pictures I've seen. And then she has these cute little Mary Janes. They're adorable. They're open Mary Janes. They're just little Dalmatian design on the toes. So cute. And then she comes with her little puppy purse. And then the necklace that they all come with. So let's get her dressed and see what she looks like. Okay, and here's Dottie, all dressed up and beautiful. I should have said all dressed up and Dottie. <laughs> but anyway, she's really cute. I'm super excited about her. My daughter wanted her as the third one, but I told her no. So she can get this doll later on, maybe for Christmas. But this doll is so cute. I can't explain how much I love these dolls. I think I've explained it in this video how much I love them. I hope you can know how much I love them because I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I think they are amazing. I love their hair. I love how versatile they are. I love how perfect they are for kids because I am a mom. And having kids is kind of hard when it comes to toys because how do you how do you have them keep their rainbow high dolls nice you know whereas like i said you can put these dolls back in their tubes and put them on a bookshelf and that is all you need to do with them but anyways i'm going to show you guys an up close of all all i don't know how many of the dolls but i'm going to show you an up close of all these dolls at this very end um of this video because we're ending now <laughs> i'm talking crazy but whatever um, but I appreciate you so much for watching up to this point. Um, it means a lot to me and I appreciate your support. Um, so thank you so, so much for watching this video. We are coming to an end. Um, I'm excited to put these dolls on display. I do need to get their Kaiser stands first, but, um, they do stand on their own. If you do it right, if you can get them positioned right, they'll stand. Let's see. Maybe her hat is throwing her off, but see, there you go. She's standing. She but it, it might be kind of hard to like have her stand like that. So I need to get some Kaiser stands so I can display them. But for the time being, I'm going to put them back in their tubes and put them in the bookshelf until the Kaiser stands arrive. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.